Today I'm showing you three ways to use agar agar. If you've never heard of agar before, it's a plant-based gelling agent that's actually made from seaweed and it's most commonly used as a plant-based alternative to gelatin. I partnered up with a company called Living Gin, who sent me their agar agar to use in all three of these recipes. They're a small Korean-based health food startup and they've been really patient with me over the last few weeks while I took some time to test out the quality of the product. I found that the results I've gotten have been really consistent. I also found that I didn't end up using as much of the Living Gin agar as I have had to use of other brands in the past, nor did I have to boil it as long to get good gelling results. So if you want to try out any of these recipes or any other agar based recipes at home, I would definitely recommend the agar from Living Gin. Uh, I've placed the link in the description below if you want to check it out. For the first recipe, I'm making gummy bears. So most gummy candies are actually made with a ton of gelatin, so that can be one, kind of off-putting, and two, really restricting for people with dietary restrictions, preferences, or religious beliefs. So you can actually use agar as a replacement. All you need is 250 milliliters of fruit juice, 6 grams of agar, and 25 grams of sugar. Mix this all together in a pot and boil for one to two minutes. It's important to boil any mixture with agar in it because the boiling activates the gelling properties. So make sure you get it up to a rolling boil. Then all you need are some of these super cute gummy bear molds. I just got them on Amazon and they came with these little droppers so you can transfer your gummy bear mixture into the molds. Set them aside to chill in the fridge for about 15 to 20 minutes. And once they're firm to the touch, pop them out of the mold. Then you can repeat this process for whatever flavor of gummy candy you'd like. One thing I hear often when people make agar based gummies is that it's hard to get the same chewy texture, but I found a super simple solution to this. You just have to dehydrate them a little. All I normally do is leave them out on a drying rack for a day or two to dehydrate slightly and then you end up with that really nice chewy gummy bear texture. Another great way to use agar is in puddings, panna cotta, or mousse. Today I'm making a matcha green tea mousse. You'll need 150 grams of white chocolate, chopped and set aside in a large bowl. Pour 500 milliliters of coconut milk and 85 grams of honey into a pot and bring to a simmer. Pour the simmering liquid over the white chocolate and stir to combine. In a separate pot, place six grams of agar, 7 grams of matcha green tea powder, and 3 to 5 tablespoons of water. Bring this to a boil for 1 to 2 minutes. Pour the green tea mixture into the coconut mixture and stir. To get a really smooth consistency, blend the mixture on high, then transfer it to individual serving bowls and set in the fridge. Once the matcha mousse is set, you can serve it as is or top it with a sprinkle of matcha or sesame seeds. Next, and probably one of my favorite ways to use agar, is by using it to make gourmet or molecular style recipes. For this recipe, I'm making grapefruit pearls. Start by pouring about a liter of neutral flavored oil into a tall container and placing this in the freezer for about 1-2 to two hours. Once your oil is cold, get 250 milliliters of grapefruit juice into a pot along with 2 grams of agar powder. Bring this up to a boil. Now for the fun part. Using a squeeze bottle or a syringe, stream the grapefruit mixture into the oil in droplets. Strain the pearls out from the oil and rinse in cold water. You can make these pearls with most liquids. I've done these with honey, balsamic vinegar, and sriracha, just to name a few. 
Uh, special thanks again to Living Gin for sponsoring this video. If you want to try out any of these recipes, make sure to check out the link in the description box below. And if you're lucky enough to live in LA, you can now purchase the Living Gin agar offline at the Little Tokyo Marketplace, Los Angeles. I'll post links to their socials below as well because they post lots of cool recipes, so you might want to check that out. And as always, thanks for watching, and if you like the video, consider subscribing and connecting with me elsewhere at KAC Creative.